welcome. So we'll go ahead and uh, and get started now. Uh, Basically, today's topic is going to be about how top hedge funds use news to make money from the stock market. Now, I'm going to ask you a question here, and I'm going to invite you to be skeptical. And the question is, if you could do the same in just a few minutes per week without a big risk, would you? Right now, if you're sitting back with your arms folded thinking, OK, you know, you've heard it all before. Absolutely. That's where I want you. I want you to be skeptical about it because I want to prove to you that I'm going to teach you this by showing you an exact scientific method you can use to make profitable investments in US stocks from anywhere in the world without any background in finance and investing. And uh, you'll see why. And the key word there is scientific. And uh, my name is Peter Visser, and I'm a researcher here at News Quantified. So here's a quick example of what I'm talking about. On February 17th, 2017, a trigger event happened with Arista Networks Incorporated, and there was a scientific probability that this stock was going to shoot up over the next 90 days. Top traders on Wall Street knew this, so what happened? All right, so there you have it. On February, price was $109 and went up to $142.75 after that specific trigger event, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. Uh, another example here, January 23rd, 2017, a trigger event happened with Sierra Wireless Incorporated. Again, as we sat back in our chairs, sipping a cup of coffee, we knew, along with hundreds of other top traders, that this would cause the price of the stock to increase with a scientific probability, giving us a money-making opportunity, along with a bunch of other traders. And there we go. January, $17.20 by May was $28.40 and had gone up in that 90-day period. Um, and it happened again on February 10th, 2017. A trigger event happened with Control 4 Corporation. And again, there was a significant scientific probability that this stock was going to shoot up over the next few days and months. And ordinary people, just like you and I, pocketed cold, hard cash from what happened next. And it was a simple price increase from $13.93 over to $17.41. Pretty cool, right? And when we talk about these events, we really are talking about small trigger events that historically has a scientific probability that the price is going to go up, okay? Now, there's probably one thing on your mind when I'm going through these examples, and we need to address that. The first thing is, before I show you the scientific evidence that you can predict stock prices with specific trigger events so that you can line your pockets with additional income, and before I reveal how much money you can actually make using this investment strategy, and before I even show you exactly what to do to execute this in just a few minutes per week, we need to answer this question, which is, if this is indeed true, what's the catch and what's the risk? Right? That's probably what's on everyone's mind. Now, after all, what you see here is a little snippet from the Wall Street um, crash in 1929 and 1930. And uh, everyone thought they knew what they were doing. They thought they had a system that worked. They thought they knew what they were doing in terms of investing. And then, boom, the market fell. It took 25 years for unemployment to even recover from that big, huge market crash that just devastated everybody. Uh, this right here is from Black Monday. You can see a snippet from the New York Times. Everyone thought they knew what they were doing and then stock plunged 100, 508 points, a drop off of 22% in just one day. 1987, everyone thought they knew what they were doing. They absolutely didn't because they didn't think about this question. They didn't think about the risk. Then this here depicts the rise and fall of the dot-com bubble. You guys know 2000, 2001. Um, and NASDAQ, everyone was really, really excited about it, including Oliver, and um, and it just fell. Everyone thought they knew what they were doing again, you know, not learned their lessons from before. And this here is just a snippet from the New York Times of what happened in the 2008-2009 financial crisis. Of course, again, everyone was a genius because they made loads of money in the run-up to it, and then boom, things just fell apart. The whole buy and hold strategy didn't work, and even people that traded options and did things that were a little smarter uh, got caught uh, wrong-footed there. So, meet Oliver, right? He was the guy. Hey, yeah. Hi, everybody yes. again. <laughs> this is Oliver. So, Oliver, at the age of 26, he was actually a remarkable individual. Uh, he sold his telecoms company in Austria and became a multimillionaire. And I don't know many people at the age of 26 have built a telecoms company. So, if we skip ahead a couple of years, in a matter of eight hours, Oliver had, ha had actually lost just under a million dollars in the stock market because of one of those crashes that I talked about. And because he was part of this group of people who thought, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going with this. And he had an investment advisor, which was telling him the same stuff. Now, the tax man was after him. His wife was asking for a divorce and a big settlement, and his broker took $350,000 in fees. I mean, can you guys imagine? 
the man was tearing his hair out, as, <laughs> as I would probably do. And he had to sell his house and all his cars just to stay afloat. And his multiple million investment account continued dropping like a stone. All right, so he went from here to zero pretty quickly. And he was walking on cloud nine, spoiling wife number one rotten. Just to clarify, now he's on wife number two. He's incredibly happy. Uh, sleeping sound at night with a starting balance of $5 million that jumped to over $10 million. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, wouldn't you love to see a $5 million account jump to $10 million? It'd be absolutely amazing. So he's walking on cloud nine to suffering a major, major loss because his investment advisor kept buying technology stocks before the dot-com crash. NASDAQ fell by over 50% and it absolutely devastated him. He said at one point he wanted to throw the TV out the hotel window uh, when he was watching the news with all the stuff. So when he lost all his money, he became obsessed as most brilliant people do and he was glued to the screen when the crash happened and he watched every single news event and he knew every single stock that he owned and he noticed something there was something that he noticed he said there were hedge funds out there who made huge amounts of money from the tech crash there were people out there claiming at least that they were making billions in up and down markets they're all on tv saying hey this is what you need to do you need to be shorting stocks you need to be doing this and hedging and all that kind of stuff so while he was losing money hand over fist these guys were pulling pulling in these huge humongous gains so while he was losing cash hand over fist he noticed something right remember i said that so it wasn't just the guys talking on tv he noticed that if stock price went sideways something would happen and the stock price would go up and then something else would happen. Something would trigger that, and the stock price would go up again, and something would trigger it, and the stock price would go down. Something always happened. There was always some kind of event that happened that made investors decide to either buy or sell a stock. And this might seem simple to us, right? Because you guys are very experienced traders. You've listened to a lot of traders today. And it always seems like there is something that happens, and it seems real simple to us, but Oliver wants to know why right? He asked his investment advisor, what makes the price of a stock move up and down? A real simple question, right? Which you can imagine that an Ivy League school guy who's earning 350 grand a year in fees should be able to answer. And you guessed it, the investment advisor had no clue. He had some convoluted answer that went on for about 50, 50 minutes. Um, and he had actually had no clue. Because if you really know the answer to a question, the answer is always really simple, right? Now, as, as a last ditch attempt, Oliver actually bought a ticket to a hedge fund conference in Vienna and Austria. I mean, I would love to go to a conference like that. It's pretty amazing because the keynote speaker was a guy called Myron Scholes. Now, he won a Nobel Prize for options price theory, and this guy was a big deal. Okay, he blew up a firm called Long Term Capital. So <laughs> his algorithms that he won the Nobel Prize for actually just blew up this firm. So he lost millions. And then guess what? He made it all back again. He made it back and even more. And that's why he was the keynote speaker at this event. And luckily for Oliver, he was actually sat right next to him at the conference. And so he picked his brain and asked him over 250 questions at a bare minimum. And knowing Oliver, it's probably closer to a thousand questions. When he's he's like a dog with a bone. You know, once he uh, once he's start, once he's grabbed hold of you, he's not going to let go, and he's going to ask you a million questions, especially if he believes that you know some things he doesn't know. Now, this guy said one thing. He said. Data-driven investing is the universe. All stocks, options, bonds, and commodities move up and down for one reason and one reason only. A stock price moves up because investors got a piece of information that they didn't have before. Something told them good news about a stock and it triggered them to buy it. Same with down. Stock price moves down because investors got a piece of information they didn't have before. Something told them bad news about a stock and it triggered them to sell it. Right? It seems really simple now, but people don't really ask this question. And so Oliver even dug deeper. Right, So stock price here, people decided to buy it. Something made them decide to buy it. Something made them decide to buy more of it. And then some people decided to sell it because of a piece of information. That is literally the only thing. Right, So news, aka information, is the reasons why stock prices move up and down. And that is it. That is the only thing moving the markets. All the patterns and... Everything that you've seen today, all of them happen because of some news. Now, some people look at price and some people look at news and some people do it a different way, right? But everything, every single move is because of news. And it seems so obvious. So Oliver actually rushed home from the conference and started to get into work. And he actually did something 
that I wouldn't have done. And he did something that was so profound. It would actually change the face of Wall Street. Uh, so for two straight years, every single time a financial news event is released, Oliver manually plotted it on a price chart. I mean, can you imagine doing that for two years? He plots the news event. He sees a change, he plots the news event. He sees the news event come out, he plots it again. And he plots it again every single time until he collected a lot of data. So let's say, for example, you've got company XYZ. By 2005, Oliver could get a news event and he would know whether or not that news event will affect the company, whether it was just a dud news event. Because by the way, the majority of news that comes out is rubbish and is not going to affect the price at all. He knew how much the company share price would move up or down on average. So he knew, right, okay, well, when this news event comes out, usually it goes this far over this many number of days. He could predict the average movement of stock price, whether it was up or down. However, he wasn't satisfied. He needed to be 100% sure. So he had all this data that he collected and he spent a lot of time looking at it. And these patterns emerged that made him fairly confident that he could do those three things that I just mentioned there with the tick boxes, right? So as, as I know Oliver, he hired a data scientist from Stanford University. Sorry guys, we actually misspelled it there. We need to fix that slide. From Stanford University, he hired a data scientist. And he asked him, am I seeing things or is this real? So he wanted to know, am I curve fitting it? Am I just seeing what I want to see? Is this actually real? Can I, from a scientific perspective, actually be able to predict where stocks are going to go or am I just getting lucky? Because you can imagine, if you're doing this for two, three years straight, you're going to feel like you're going to start seeing things. You want to see something, even someone as analytical and data-driven as Oliver, right? And after ripping Oliver's investing data apart, this data scientist actually confirmed that it wasn't a fluke. This was statistically significant and scientists would be happy to put their backing behind it. In other words, yes, you can predict the stock market based on the data that you have. So Oliver started investing. So when a specific news item was released, he would buy or sell the stock based on his years of testing. He actually started an investment partnership up. And after a while, Oliver Schmalholtz, the guy on this um, webinar here with us today, his investment partnership went from nothing to investing $4 million per day. So that's over $800 million in transactions every single year. And that's what he was able to do. And of course, when that happens, all sorts of cool things happen. All right, so but first, before we get to that, what happened during the crash of 2008, 2009? All right, so you guys remember that little snippet I put up there and NASDAQ devoured Oliver alive. However, since it is simple to make money when stocks move up or down, Oliver actually made a boatload during the financial crisis. He, <clears throat> excuse me, he, uh, he, he called his uh, laptop <laughs> an ATM machine because it was so easy for him. Now remember, he knew all of the bad news events and what they would do to stock prices. So there were no surprises and he made money in down and up markets. Because I don't know if you guys remember or if you were trading during that time, I remember because I was, that prices would swing down wildly. And then everyone would think, oh, goodness me, the panic is over. And they would buy again and prices would swing up. And so Oliver was actually just going in both directions and, um, and pulling in huge, huge gains because of it. So it was essentially crash bulletproof. So his account was essentially crash bulletproof uh, during that period and even the flash crash which came a few years later uh, was absolutely tremendous for it so after a while uh, wall street sat up and noticed what oliver was doing right you don't start doing 800 million a year in transactions without people starting to do stuff even market makers started to try and chase his stops was trying to copy what he was doing and all that kind of stuff and this is why he he started changing the face of wall street because hedge funds came knocking on his door to buy his data to say hey listen how are you doing this can we have some data that's going to help us to predict stock moves and this is what happens when you have something legit the hedge funds come after you and so in 2012, he started News Quantified and provided news analytics with predictive power to large companies. And I mean huge companies. Um, recently, he was even a speaker at the Franklin Templeton event where there was over a trillion dollars in the room. So let me just <laughs> phrase that again. There was a tr people managing over a trillion dollars in the room and they were there and Oliver was one of the speakers and they really wanted to hear what he had to say. This is a kind of insight. And you don't just get invited to speak at an event like that willy-nilly. You need some special stuff behind you. You need some 
serious predictive power behind you. And that is why um, you're going to see what I'm about to show you. Okay, so recently, four scientists from four universities did a study. And there are their names. You can check them out. And you have Berkeley University of California. You guys might have heard of it. Tel Aviv University, New York University, Rutgers, which is the state university of New Jersey. And essentially, there is a new way for us to predict the movement of stock. So this is the second time that scientists have actually confirmed it. Once in 2005 and now in 2016, uh, which was last year. And the study was very, very conclusive. Dr. Joshua Lifnat came out with a quote in a press release said, news quantifies data help researchers determine that news releases can help predict market performance, not just in the following main trading session, but throughout the subsequent quarter. So what does that mean? Okay, so that is <laughs> the, the thing to really uh, look at here is where it says not just in the following main trading session. So that means not just in the next eight hours. So a lot of people think of this, that there are events that come out, news events, and it's too late, right? Oh, the news has come out. You can't trade it. You can't invest in it. It's too late. But what Oliver's done is he's identified key news pieces that actually work throughout the subsequent quarter, which means you can predict where they're going to go for the next 90 days. So on average, historically, Oliver goes and says, right, when this piece of news come out, I know that this stock is on average going to move up this much over the next 90 days. Isn't that cool? Put a yes in the comment box if you think that's cool. I mean, it's one of the coolest things that I've heard of. And this now has scientific backing. All right, so what is this? What is a scientifically proven method to predict stock moves? What does that mean? Well, it's a peer-reviewed study, which means um, that other scientists can reproduce the exact same results over and over again without fail and without variation. So that is what peer-reviewed means. So all over the world, every single scientist that looks at this data and looks at what Oliver's done and looks at the news events that he's talking about can reproduce the exact same results. And it's been published in a journal. So this is not a fluke. This is not a coincidence. And it's not a theory. This is a scientific fact. And I really want that to resonate with you guys. And this is why I asked you earlier to be really skeptical when you asked that question, because we made a huge claim about 15, 20 minutes ago when I started presenting here. We made a huge claim, and this is the evidence behind it. And it's not, not all, right? This is as real as it gets. This is a testimonial from a company called Business Wire, which is a Berkshire Hathaway company. Now, it is an officially sanctioned testimonial that News Quantified is allowed to use. And for those of you who don't know, Berkshire Hathaway was founded by Warren Buffett, he is the CEO and he controls that. That's that big company you keep hearing about. And this Warren Buffett controlled company have an officially sanctioned testimonial which says, News Quantified is an industry leading innovator and in measuring news impact on stock market activity. So this is pretty cool, right? Pretty <laughs> as real as it gets. So that's why I put that there because I really wanted to get this point across. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you that again. Top hedge fund, use news to make money from the stock market if you could do the same in just a few minutes per week without a big risk would you all right so put a yes in the comment box if this is interesting to you if this is something that you'd actually like to learn more about i definitely want to hear from you guys um, in there so i got a yes from nigeria i got altera i got yes from tom yes from um <laughs> yes from adim all right okay great great cool 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 so let's carry on i'm i know that we're uh, short on time today okay so the ultimate test subject this is my mum. all right she was worried about her retirement she's obviously the person on the right there and she works as a dental receptionist for my dad now six months ago I spent two hours with her and taught her how to use News Quantified's method. That's all I did. Two hours, you know, maybe we had a coffee, two, hour, two and a half hours. And uh, this is another officially sanctioned testimonial, this time from yours truly's mum, um, where she says, after just six months of investing, I'm up over 35%. I finally have the confidence that we can retire comfortably in a few years' time. This is the best decision I've ever made. And that is quite a big statement from her because she's a real rule follower, my mum. She follows the rules religiously. So when I told her exactly what to do, she didn't veer from them. So do you want to use News Quantified scientifically proven and mother tested news analytics to grow your cash over the next 12 months? So put a yes in the comment box uh, if you do. 
Now, on Tuesday, uh, next week, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Oliver and I will do a live training session called the Hedge Fund Code. All right, now in this training session, you'll discover exactly how to use news to pull in predictable profits from the stock market. We'll spend about an hour, maybe an hour and a half together, depending on how many questions we get uh, to, to cover that for you in detail. We don't actually have time today to go over every single little thing. So let me just describe what we're going to cover in that session. The first one is the hedge fund code, which, allow, which will show you how to pick the right stocks that are about to put on an explosive move. Now get this wrong and you'll be left stranded with stocks that stay stagnant. Now, a lot of people just go into the stock market and pick any old stock, whereas 87% of the news that comes out has hardly any effect on the stock price. It's only 13%. And out of that 13%, there's only 43% that give you three times the volume. So you're talking about a small number of stocks. So in the end, you end up with about between 70 and 100 stocks that you could trade that are going to put on an explosive move, scientifically put on an explosive move. So out of 5,000 stocks, you really need to know how to pick the right ones. And only data can tell you that. In fact, Oliver's um, analyzed over 10 million data points. So <laughs> that's why the scientists love it so much. You're also gonna discover what news items are crucial and which ones are irrelevant, which is obviously very important. You don't wanna waste your time. The exact time of day you should be making your investment. Now this one element is essential and 90% of investors are getting it completely wrong. I bet most of you think that you have to enter the trade or enter the investment as soon as the news comes out. Well, that is not correct. That is actually the wrong way of doing it, especially when you come into the beginning. You can do some more advanced stuff later on, but there is a one specific time of the day where you should actually be making your investment and it's not around the news announcement, okay? And then we're gonna talk about an obscure order type that hardly anyone knows about it, but it'll ensure that you get in at the exact price you're supposed to. Now, most investors outside of Wall Street don't even know that this exists, uh, although it is actually astonishingly uh, simple. Uh, we're also going to talk about how to use something called the return matrix to predict how far a stock price is going to go. So you can actually look and see, right, this specific type of stock, how far is that going to go? Because each different kinds of stocks, the size of the company, the type of company it is, they're all, they're all different, right? They all work slightly differently. So, we're also going to cover exactly how to protect yourself from a market crash. Now remember, Oliver was absolutely killing it during the market crash. And this will limit your risk and actually ensures that you pull in huge gains from market chaos. So when market chaos comes and everyone else is really, really worried, you're gonna sit there with a smile on your face going, yeah, bring it on, man. I am absolutely 100% ready for this. All right, and then you're gonna have a simple one page checklist, cheat sheet, if you will, that you can use so that you are never in the dark about what to do. This is gonna be really, really simple, and you just go tick, 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 and you can go ahead and, uh, and execute it. Um, and then how you can decide to invest daily, once per week, once per month, or once per quarter. So you basically have the power to pick your own lifestyle. So if you wanna go ahead and you wanna take 50 trades a day, absolutely, you can go ahead and do that. I wouldn't recommend it. I personally find it stressful. I prefer to trade or to invest uh, once per week and even once per month, but you can even do it once per quarter. So if you're the kind of trader that's like, hey, listen, I'm retired, I wanna chill out, I don't wanna do much, I just wanna go every 90 days, adjust my portfolio, no problem, you can do that with this. So you can design an investment strategy based on the scientific evidence here, you can design an investment strategy which fits around your lifestyle. You don't fit your lifestyle around the strategy, the strategy fits around your lifestyle, which I think is actually very, very important. Um, and then you, we'll, we'll show you how to do this anywhere in the world without needing a computer, charting software, indicators, and no need to sit in front of a desk. It's actually really, really simple. We just get a little text message or an email, and it'll tell you everything you need to know about the news event and what to do with that, and even tell you whether to go long or short. Pretty cool. Um, plus, we're recording the entire live session so that you can view it as many times as you like. Um, and we'll even send, send you a recording of the previous live session so you guys can watch it before coming on with us live again. And of course, because it's live and um, because you guys will be on with us, you get to ask as many questions as many times as you want. All right. And you're gonna get this free of charge as a subscriber to the News Quantified Analytics Dashboard. And this is what makes this all possible.
Okay, this is a predictive platform for news analytics. In other words, this software tells you which news events have come out and what effect they're going to have on a particular company stock price. So you don't have to do any research, this thing does it for you. It's like pretty much like an AI machine. Institutions have been paying hundreds of thousands each to get access to this information since 2012. Okay. Now, here you have what's called a predictive simulator. So this is one of the things that is included. This simulator shows you what would have happened if you had invested with a specific strategy using news and the specific news items that you want to go after. Now, it allows you to pick your own investing style, whether it is laid back and casual or whether you're a serious day trader. Uh, it shows you the return. It shows you what would re be required. It shows you, hey, as a serious day trader, this is how many trades you could have taken on each one of the days and these this is the result that you would have gotten on average there now remember this data is backed up by scientific research to be predictive of stock market activity and i've shown you guys so much proof today i mean i've shown you the scientific study i have shown you the warren buffett controlled company sanctioned testimonial uh, but the one i'm the most proud of is the testimonial from my mum who absolutely knew nothing about stocks and she's been an app total champion following the rules and doing that okay so this is backed up by that study as well by the mother study so you are also going to know exactly how much a stock is going to move on average based on specific news events so the page you see right here uh, talks about certain news events that can move up in price um, that can move price sorry of a stock up or down for six months to a year so it's going to say right when this happens this is what's going to happen to the stock in the next six months based on the scientific evidence that we've got. And you can get all of that information instantly so you can make cash churning decisions like the top hedge funds do. No more guesswork, no hesitation, no amateur investing, just real hard data that works, okay? And this is the way, and this is really the way that trading and investing is going, right? It's computers deciding based on scientific evidence whether you should actually be going long or short and you then deciding how you want to use that and execute it. All right, here we have the return matrix, which we talked about earlier that we're going to go over. So this tells you what kind of companies respond the best to specific news events. So you can build out a strategy with razor sharp precision, targeting only companies that move big. So for example, a specific group of companies actually moves five times further when the news item is released than another group of companies. And um, I'm not gonna reveal exactly which ones, but there is a specific group that move more than other groups. And the return matrix will help you out with that stuff. And this supercharges your profits because you're able to actually pick stuff that's going to work uh, based on data and based on science instead of thinking, oh, you know what, I think this company's going well, or going through charts and saying, yeah, I think this is going okay. All right, set up alerts to your email. So once you've got your investment strategy fine-tuned to your lifestyle, you can set up email or phone alerts. So you can actually get a text message to your phone as well. So this means that you don't, <laughs> you don't have to log in. You just get on your phone, then you go to your broker on, your, on, your, on the broker app on the mobile you know, phone, and, and you can enter it. So you can actually do this from anywhere in the world. And this will allow you to get updated on when it's time to buy and sell specific stocks. This is an incredibly useful tool if you're traveling the world on holiday, spending time with friends and family, or whatever else you do with your newfound freedom. Okay, and there is so much more. I mean, there's a lot for us to get through, which is, uh, which is why we're holding that live session uh, next Tuesday. And um, uh, just, yeah, so next Tuesday, 11 a.m. EST. Remember, it's daylight savings time, so it's actually EDT um, for you next week. All right, so by now, you guys are probably wondering about the price. Um, so right now, Oliver is actually selling this data to hedge fund clients who are paying high licensing fees. He's doing a lot of customization for them, helping plug straight into their systems, all sorts of cool stuff. And other people have spent $50,000 on university and 10 plus years learning this stuff to actually become top of their financial field just in order for them not to even know the stuff that Oliver has, uh, has done here. And this is over 20 years of research now i mean oliver first started investing in 1997 and it's now 2017 so we're talking about 20 years of experience here that he has put into uh, this data here and since this is the only thing out there like it in the marketplace it should be five thousand dollars per year because it should really be going to people who are genuinely going to use it and um i've talked to oliver about this in the past however he doesn't like doing that uh you don't so you don't have to fork out quite that much so on a quarterly basis, it's $397 per quarter. 
and annually it's $997 per year. So simply go to newsquantify.com forward slash go in order to get started. Now for some of you, this might seem insanely affordable, which you're right, it is. And for others, this might seem like a higher price point than you're used to seeing. And absolutely, we want it to be like that. We want it to be there kind of in the middle um, because this is something that is incredibly valuable for you. So here's a glimpse of actually the potential of one of the strategies using this data. Okay, so before we get to questions, because I know we're, we're getting short on time here, but before we get to questions, I just want to show you in 2012, 110% right? 2013, 57%. 2014, 64%. 2015, 121%. 2016, 67%. And actually, I should have probably put half of 2017 in here, but I think it's up by about 40 or so already percent in 2017. And this works during all market conditions where the prices are going down and up. And by the way, half of these positions here were short. Half of them were long. All right, so it actually went both ways. So if you want something like this and you're really willing to put in the effort, then go to newsquantify.com forward slash go to secure your spot now. Now, if you want to be a serious investor, even if you have zero knowledge about investing right now, then this is for you, okay? We don't want any time wasters. This stuff is serious. Um, if you want to be able to pull in additional income every single year to use for your retirement, vacations, traveling, houses, then this is for you. If you want to be an insider pulling in profits instead of an outsider looking at how Wall Street keeps making money, then this is for you, all right? If you can follow the rules of the game and you use it correctly, then this is for you. And that part is incredibly important. The only reason my mum, a dental receptionist, can do this is because, and, and she has no prior investing experience, the reason why she can do this is because she follows the rules. She had a set of rules and she does not break them. And that is how she keeps winning. Okay, and realize that this is not a get rich quick scheme, okay, but a serious method of investing that can change your life forever. All right, if you understand that this is not get rich quick, this is not penny stocks, this is none of that stuff. This is serious New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ kind of stocks, um, and it's not about getting rich quick, it's about a serious, long term, sustainable growth in investing. All right, now we do have an ironclad guarantee. All right, so come to the live training on Tuesday at 11 a.m. EST uh, or watch the recording uh, and implement everything you've learned. You know, make some investments, make some money, pick our brains and ask us a million questions. Go ahead, use the software and go hog wild. And if you can't see how this is the best investment you've ever made, then you get a full and cheerful refund for any reason. Simply let us know within 30 days of your purchase. OK, however, I don't want you to dip your toe in the water. I want you to jump in head, for, head first, okay? If the refund policy is the only reason you're doing this, then don't. You're not serious enough, all right? The refund policy is not there to help make sales. It's there because we're an ethical company. And we understand sometimes people need to get a refund and it's totally fine. You can get one for any reason whatsoever. However, if that's the reason why you're signing up, then this won't be right for you because you're not going to use it and um, and then you know it doesn't really help anybody. So many people from all walks of life have made this work for them. All right, so we know that you can do it if you put your mind to it. So make a firm decision today to try this out with all the seriousness that you can muster because this is the life-changing opportunity that you've been looking for and I pretty much guarantee you that. So go to newsquantify.com forward slash go to secure your spot now. All right, so here are a couple of examples that we can actually go through um, when, uh, when we talk about Q&A, but I want to get to Q&A because we only have a few minutes uh, left, about about seven minutes or so. Um, so this is actually uh, nine power strategies, you know, to go hot off the press. So these are, these are nine strategies that you can actually use uh, with this data that we've gone through. And, uh, but more importantly, on Tuesday, we're going to go through a method where you guys can actually build a strategy yourself based around your own lifestyle. All right. So let me just go back to the link there. The link is newsquantify.com forward slash go. You guys can go ahead and put that in your browser. I don't know if we've uh, put the link in here. Let me just put it. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, great. So newsquantify.com forward slash go. Um, and let's go ahead and see if uh, if we've uh, we've got questions that have come in here. All right, okay. Um, 
uh, K. Garfordine, do you have testimonials from investors that went broke? No, luckily not. Um, we haven't had anyone go broke before because, I mean, the way that it's used, uh, you'll see when you go market neutral, you're, you're protected to the, to the up and down side. Um, so Amit has a really good question. Uh, but sir, market already digests the positive and negative news than how to make money. That's the great thing. There are specific news events that are predictive, do you remember, over a 90-day period. So if we go back to, where is that, uh, this, this part here, right? So Dr. Joshua Livnat uh, said that, that um, sorry, I'm just struggling to see it here with questions. News quantifies data help researchers determine that news releases can help predict market performance throughout the subsequent quarter. So a quarter is 90 days. So you can actually predict it. And that's the thing. That's what you see here, right? So this is an example. Let me just make this big here because I think this is so important because this is one aspect that I didn't quite get before because I thought, oh, what? News is already digested. Check this out, right? On this day here, you had the trigger event on February. Price shot up. So you're right. Price did go up. And then check what happened. It continued to rise over that period. And you can actually get in over here at that point there. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean you get in around the news event. Um, each situation is a little different. But this is what happened. This is 90 days, right? This isn't just a few hours. So here's another example here. You can see how this happened. You can look on the, on the day itself. Look at that. Oops. Sorry, let me just get my pen out again. Look at that. It went, that's when the event happened sideways boom up and then it continued going up for 90 days this is what we're talking about there's some serious predictive power behind this that doesn't just go on for 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 an hour or for a few minutes this is not like silly crazy trading where you have to be on the game and be like on your in front of your screen all the time you can you can go once a week so check this out i mean imagine you bought this stock swir um for 17 dollars 20 you bought it here or even here or even here, right? That's a, that's a week later. And you sit for 90 days and you just wait and you go ahead and you sell it. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty laid back. You don't have to be that laid back if you want to. You know, there's a strategy where you can do it on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, on a daily basis. Um, but that's what we mean. So hopefully that answers your question. It's actually scientifically predictive over long periods of time, not just, not just um, a couple of uh, hours. All right. Um, after giving this to hedge funds, uh, why is Walter now giving this to retailers? Um, it's uh, it's Oliver. That's from um, uh, Manana. So um, Oliver, yeah, do you want to go I'll, ahead? I'll, and take yeah, I'll, I'll answer that. Uh, uh, the uh, hedge fund market is a pretty uh, you know tight community. There's only so many hedge funds that use data driven uh, strategies. Uh, there's definitely a uh, increase of other funds uh, looking into the um, uh, data-driven uh, uh, models, but uh, just in the U.S. alone, we have 40 million self-directed investors now that don't rely on full-service brokers, and it's a huge uh, market that we want to uh, really help uh, get institutional-level uh, tools uh, in their hands so they can uh, self-manage their accounts and produce uh, hedge fund like uh, results so that's our main motivation bringing it in the hands of consumers uh, that don't need any middleman uh, to generate hedge fund like uh, returns mm -hmm. yeah absolutely and uh, so i see we only have a couple of minutes left um does this is from ne uh, neeraj does this method only work on USA stocks or can it work saying stocks in the Hong Kong market? This is for US stocks only. So this is for New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ. Uh, those but, are the two but, but as long, yeah, yeah, as long as you have a brokerage account uh, that lets you trade US stocks, you can be anywhere in the world. Uh, and uh, there's all kinds of brokerages uh, uh, that operate internationally that allow you to trade US stocks. Uh, uh, we can go over a few uh, should you decide to join us and uh, we can give you some direction uh, where uh, to sign up for an account for. 